My dad played football. When people would ask me what I wanted to do when I grew up, I would say, I don't know, I just guess I'll just play in the NFL like my dad. I was drafted in the sixth round, pick 187. I can remember when I got the call from the Green Bay Packers, Andy Reid, the quarterback's coach, calls me and he says, uh, hey, uh, tell me what you think about this next pick. And I'm looking at the ticker and it's like Green Bay Packers, it starts flashing and it's my name. And I'm thinking, you guys are fools. <laughs> no one else is gonna draft me. I throw the phone up, I'm like, we're celebrating. I pick the phone back up, I'm like, hey, uh, coach, you know no one is probably gonna draft me. You know, like, you didn't need to draft me. But I was fired up. I get there and I, and I see they've got a ton of quarterbacks. But my coach came in and he, he kind of instilled some confidence in me that I didn't have in myself. And one of the first things he says to me, he's like, listen, you need to believe that you can be the backup quarterback for this team. He was kind of like, he was a little churchy for me. I don't know, I was just very suspicious. Come to find out through uh, years of being with him and then um, you know, seeing him go through things in his life that the dude was legit. And he was a good friend and a great teammate. I got in the elevator and I was like critical of what the chaplain had talked about. I was like, man, I'm so glad this guy that I invited said no on our team because the chaplain's never gonna reach that guy with that kind of a message. And Trent looks at me, he's like, it's not the chaplain's job to reach that guy. It's the chaplain's job to teach you so that you can reach that guy. And I was like, whoa, really? <laughs> I'm good at teaching a young quarterback the playbook. Hey, what do you do here on uh, Fox 2 x Like, Oh, dude, the, the play action's the whole deal. And I'm gonna tell you, nine out of 10 times you're throwing the tight end. Unless they're in quarters coverage, you're gonna throw the post. But otherwise, you're gonna go to the tight end right to the X. And I guarantee you the X is gonna be open every single time. Unless they're playing two man on the backside, or it's press, bump, and run, then you're gonna have your fullback. And it'd be an easy gain, it'd be second and four. Like, I, I know that, I can give that away, I can share. And not only can I run the play, I can teach you the play. And so, I wasn't at a point with my faith that I could share it in a way that I knew it. Like I knew the playbook, like I was the starter. You know, I was like a rookie. Even though I had had the playbook for years, I didn't really know it. I wasn't making disciples. I was introducing people to the chaplain and feeling good about myself. There was a moment for me where I really felt Something powerful that I can't even explain it was last year, uh, we were at a conference type thing, and uh, I had invited our two young quarterbacks. I was like, man, I hope it's okay for them. I hope they like it. I mean, I, I like it. I hope they like it. And they were teaching on, this, on baptism. And uh, I'm like walking to them thinking like, hey, I was gonna tell my baptism story about like, hey, I, just, I know it's a little, I, I don't know how you feel about this. And, uh, and both of them and their wives said, hey, um, our team chaplain's not here. Would you be willing to baptize us? And I was just like, like, are you kidding me? God is present in all things, big or small, all the time. He can do anything he wants to do with anyone he wants to do, through anyone he wants to do it with. 